The nonprofit group began its work in 2005. It helps fly veterans to D.C. to visit memorials that honor their service. Students at Beacon Heights Elementary School in Riverdale, Maryland, will have a new way to hit the books on Monday after a group of volunteers built a learning garden at school today. This is all about finding ways to make learning about math and science fun and interesting, courtesy of a nonprofit group called Real School Gardens. Fox 5's Lene Burns has more. Really 11-year-old Harley Escobar is excited to help out, building an outside classroom he already knows is going to make learning more exciting. I think that's actually really cool because they can actually teach us out, outdoors and nature instead of being inside. So I think it's actually really cool that the teachers are going to help us learn in a, in a fun way. This project, the brainchild of the nonprofit called Real School Gardens, builds these learning gardens in lower income communities. They also train teachers on how to use the garden as a way to teach concepts in science and math. The results they've seen are higher scores in standardized tests, happier teachers, and students who really get into learning. I'm going to teach you a lot of things about how, how big the how. How, how big the perimeter is of this house. Teachers here say they know this is more than just about having a garden at school. It's about the community coming together, but also providing lessons for the kids that they may not necessarily get in the classroom. You would think being in nature would cause more distractions, but it actually helps students focus because they're free to think. And when you need kids to be creative, when we're trying to do experiments or learn new ideas, you need them to be open to be able to discuss and be paying attention. The community is paying attention as well. Kaiser Permanente, the Walmart Foundation, and the Prince George's City Council all pitched in to make this happen, as well as 100 volunteers. That, too, makes a difference. It makes me feel good because I know that our community wants to help out. Lene Burns, Fox 5 Local News.